Hey, it's Dave Brown here, host of Now with Dave Brown on AMI. Check out this latest highlight from the show. The Abilities Expo is returning to Toronto next month. Here to preview the event is the show director, Ian Forsyth. Hey, good morning, Ian. Great to chat with you once again. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. So, Ian, first time back in a couple of years. How does it feel to be on the precipice of an Abilities Expo that's going to be live and in person? Make it three years. <laughs> it feels great. It feels great. It still hurts my brain a little bit to think it's been three years. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, the passage of time is a remarkable, remarkable thing. So, Ian, give us a bit of a preview here. What do you guys have on deck this year for the big return? Well, certainly, of course, there's always the vendors that are there, but um, I, and we can certainly get to those. But uh, we've got a lot of other exciting and interesting things going on. We've got the events arena with uh, there's a bunch of things in there, dance workshops, floor curling, accessible yoga, uh, service dogs, cruiser sports will be there with uh, multi-sport demos. And uh, we've got artistic swimming. Uh, and then in terms of our workshops and presentations, uh, we've got... Uh, presentations on trauma recovery and community integration, service dogs, um, outdoor accessibility. Um, March of Dimes will be there uh, presenting their info about their accessible uh, tech program. And Julie Sawchuk will be uh, presenting about accessible spaces in the home and in the workplace. Um, also mindfulness, building your employability and uh, accessible travel. And then Parasport will be uh, back as well with their a bunch of sports that people can, uh, in the most part, uh, participate in. Uh, so that's always a, a big hit with people. Wow, people are going to have trouble fitting all their uh, all their agenda items in there. It looks like there's a lot yeah. on the uh, buffet menu. You mentioned the vendors. What? How many vendors are you guys expecting this year at the Expo? Um, we're thinking we'll be somewhere between 90 and 100. Um, so, you know, we've still got some, some time, obviously, to uh, secure some more. And uh, because of the... Time we're in, it tends to be a little bit more of a last minute business than it has been in the past. Yeah, I can definitely imagine how people maybe don't want to be making a too, too many long term plans. Are, uh, are people reaching out to you with a certain enthusiasm? Is there still a little bit maybe of a hesitancy as, uh, as, as the pandemic, although in the background, still very much looms? Yeah, we haven't sensed that so far. Uh, the um, admission is free to the show, but uh, people do have to pre register. And our pre-registration numbers are on par with uh, with our last event in 2019, which was a record attendance. So um, we're quite optimistic that um, things will uh, come in very strong. You mentioned folks should pre-register. Why don't we give them that point of contact right now? Where should they go to be doing that pre-registration for the Abilities Expo? Uh, they need to go to AbilitiesExpoToronto.com, and there's a button uh, right on the uh, on the website free to register. So it's uh, very simple, very straightforward. In the past, what have some of the most popular events been? Uh, in terms of the, are you speaking in terms of the events arena and the workshops and things yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, and then the, yeah, what, what, seems, what seems to always draw people's attention or when, they, or when they're talking to you on the way out, they're saying, oh my gosh, I really loved that. Yeah, it's, um, you're, you're taxing me here, Dave. It's been three years. I, I know, uh, I know. I'm making, I'm yeah. making us all jog our memories here. We're all, we're yeah, all trying to wake exactly. up this morning. Yeah. Parasport is doing what they normally do, as I've already mentioned, and that's always a huge hit. People love to be able to, to try, right, rather than just see. Um, and so even in our events arena, there's, um, there's lots of our opportunity for people to join in. And dance has always been very popular. Uh, the surface service dogs have been uh, very popular. And the, you know, in terms of the workshops themselves, we vary it um, with every expo. We very very rarely uh, repeat anything. And, uh, but certainly accessible travel is, is always a uh, fun one. And um, certainly, believe it or not, the government presentations are normally very well received. That, that is um, still to be uh, determined um, in terms of them uh, government employees being able to attend in-person events. Mm. Uh, Ian, I know, again, I'm putting you on the spot here, and it's a bit of a forest through the three, a forest for the trees because you're right in the thick of organizing this, trying to get everything in line. Is there something that you see over the course of those couple of days or that, that day that you're going to say, I'm going to stop whatever organizational responsibilities I have, and that's a speaker that I absolutely have to hear or a particular event that I absolutely have to do that you're going to take a little time for yourself? I think it's... Um 
probably, but dance is always very fascinating to me. It really is. Um, we're, we're, as I think I mentioned, we're doing accessible yoga as well. Um, the service dogs are always fascinating as well. Yeah, it's, it, people ask me all the time about the, about the event and this isn't specific uh, to your question, but, and this is probably in the second or third time we had it. I saw a young lad try a bicycle for the very first time and the absolute delight on his face still makes my spine tingle. And that's really, I know it's a general answer, but that's really what comes back to me uh, the most when I think of Abilities Expo. It's, yeah. it's something that's, you know, obviously it's a business, but it's something that I'm really proud to be a part of. Yeah, it's an experience thing. Uh, Ian, I should have done this earlier in the interview, but but what are the dates? What are the particulars here? What, what, what the when and the where? Uh, May 13th and 14th, Friday and Saturday. I just want to emphasize that. Uh, it's at the International Center, and the hours on each of the two days, uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, just remind us again, the points of contact where folks can learn more and do that pre-registration they have to do. AbilitiesExpoToronto.com. Hey, Ian, this was great to catch up with you once again. Congratulations for getting the wheels rolling on this yet again. Hope the event goes swimmingly, and we'll talk to you again down the road. Okay, thanks so much, Dave. Again, thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. That's Ian Forsyth, the the, uh, show presenter, director of this year's upcoming Abilities Expo in Toronto. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen.